Hey guys, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my eyebrows. Um, I haven't done my eyebrows in about a month, so they're super bushy, um, super long. Um, I did do this one so you guys can compare the difference. So this one's done and filled in, and this one's the crazy one. So if you want to know how I do my eyebrows, please keep watching, and I hope you enjoy. The first thing you want to do is move your hair away from your face. You don't want it to get in the way as you're doing your eyebrows. Now I am using a spoolie to brush my eyebrows, and I am brushing upwards. And with some eyebrow scissors, I am cutting the hairs that are sticking out. You don't want to cut more than what's sticking out because then you're going to cut too much and it's going to look very weird. The same thing when you get to the middle of the eyebrow, you want to, this time you want to brush them down and cut what's sticking out. I do thread my eyebrows and what I do, I get a 12 inch regular sewing thread and I tie the two ends together three to four times. Then I grab one side where the knot is at and with the other hand I'm spinning it or twirling it six times as you see here. And that's how you cut the hairs to your eyebrows. So whatever hair is in there, you pull the opposite way and it grabs that hair and vice versa. It is very hard to explain, so I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Now you have to make sure you know what direction your hair is going. So when you put the string on your face, you want to uh, pull it the opposite way, as you can see here. I do have a lot of little hairs on my forehead, so the threading technique definitely helps me remove all that instead of tweezing one by one by one. My camera isn't the greatest, but as you can see, when my skin raises, that's when the hair is coming out from the root. This looks very painful, but I promise tweezing hurts so much more. You also have a lot of little hairs on your eyelid and that area of your eyes, so the threading technique helps remove all those hairs as well. As you can see, my skin is raising and those are all the little hairs that are coming out. You cannot remove these by tweezing because you're going to pinch your skin. For the middle part of my eyebrow, I used a razor instead of the thread because my nose is in the way, so it's hard to get in that area. So this razor just removes all the hair, and it's not painful at all. To fill in my eyebrows, I use this eyebrow pencil brush, and you want to use an eyeshadow that matches your hair color. 
I use a black matte eyeshadow. You don't want a shimmery kind of eyeshadow for your eyebrows. And just pencil in the areas that need penciling. For me, that area has no hair, so I always pencil that in. And I just go around and make my eyebrows a little thicker, but you can go whatever shape you like or however thin you'd like. The final step is setting your eyebrows. I'm using this eyebrow gel by e.l.f. Cosmetics. If you don't have eyebrow gel, you can use a spoolie and add a little bit of hairspray and put that over your eyebrows as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the simple, easy tutorial. Um, it does take practice to thread your eyebrows, but I'm telling you, it's so much quicker, less painful, and it lasts a lot longer. Um, if you have any suggestions, any comments, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. God bless. Bye.